What's up guys, Dylan here, and today I'm bringing you day one of Advent of Code for 2020. So if you guys don't know what Advent of Code is, um, every year a couple of creators work really hard and release a couple of problems each day in December leading up to Christmas so that we can save the holidays, and it's really fun. So in this little series of videos, I'm just going to try and bring you the solutions um, the way that I solve them each uh, each day throughout December and yeah it's gonna be fun so uh, I'm gonna be working in Python but you can use whatever language you want and we can get right into it so uh, first off you want to head to adventofcode.com 2020 and I'll leave a link down in the description uh, you can sign in uh, create an account and then you can see here we have our problem so once we complete this problem for day one we'll have some stars right here so we're gonna go and ahead and get into it and like I said I'll be using Python so day one here we open it up and we're going to read uh, the problem here so after saving Christmas for five years in a row we've decided to take a vacation it looks like we're gonna be collecting stars like normal so let's get down to the problem before we leave uh, we need to fix our expense report um, because something isn't adding up specifically we need to find two entries that sum up to 2020 and then multiply those two numbers together. So it looks like they're going to be giving us a list of entries and two of them will add up to 2020. And if we multiply those, we can get the answer. Um, so we need to find the largest, probably the, the largest expense. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and grab our puzzle input. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and copy all of those values there. And I will make a new file in my folder here. Um, paste those in. And we'll just name this uh, input1.txt. Cool. So we're ready to get going. So we need to find the two numbers in this list that add up to 2020 and multiply them uh, together. So this shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. So first of all, let's go ahead and read in all the values into a list. So we're gonna say with open input.txt as f, and then we can say lines is equal to f.read lines I believe and let's go ahead and print lines to see what we get and in sublime here you can just run Python with control B and what's wrong dang mistype number one already you can and so you can see here's our, our all our values from the list but uh, it looks like we have this new line character, so we can go ahead, uh, and these are all strings too, we want to convert them to numbers. So I think what we're going to do is say for line, or actually let's just make a list nums is equal to, uh, and let's convert in string and line dot strip. So this will remove, the strip will remove the new line character and we'll say for line and Lines. So this will just loop through every line in lines, uh, remove the new line character, and turn it into, let's turn that into an int. And now if we print nums, let's see what we get. And good, this is just what we want. So now this should be fairly easy. Uh, I, I think the most straightforward approach would be to do two loops, um, looping through all the values. Um, so I guess that's what we can go ahead and do. Um, so we'll say for I in range, um, I in range, and we'll do the length of nums minus one, and you'll see why we're going to do minus one in a second. And then for J in range, um, we're going to do I plus one. So basically, we're not starting from the beginning each time. We're just going to start from the from the value after i, so that we're not repeating values. And then we're going to do uh, length 
of nums. So this so this will basically make it so that um, J checks the second element through the last element, and I checks the the first element through the second to last. So we will end up hitting all of the values, but we just want to make sure that they're not checking the same element at the same time. So, and then we can just say, let's make num1 is equal to uh, nums i. So there's our first number. And num2 is equal to nums j for our second number. And we'll say if num I, num1 is equal to plus num2 is equal to 2020, then we'll say our balance, our expense balance is going to be equal to num1 times num2. Now, um, my brain is telling me, I guess it could be the case that uh, there might be more than one combination that adds up to 2020. So just to be sure, we're going to say largest is equal to negative one to begin. And then if balance is greater than largest, if balance is greater than largest, then largest is equal to balance. And at the very end, just go ahead and print our uh, print our largest and save that and run one five eight nine one six something tells me that that is not going to be big enough but that's okay so our answer was one five eight nine one six and submit. Oh, and that is the right answer. So here we go. We got one gold star. Um, there we go. So now we're gonna continue to part two for today. Um, so we finished, so part two, the elves are counting and accounting are thankful for your help, uh, but now they want us to find three numbers. So it looks like now instead of two numbers adding up, we're going to do three and uh, we're gonna use the same input. Okay, so this one should be a much larger answer. Um, so let's go back here and I think we can use the same approach here, but with three loops this time. So I'm gonna leave our solution from the first part just in case we wanna look back at it, but I think we can just change some stuff here and get back the right answer. So uh, we need, well, since now we have two going all the way to the end. So, so I is not going to stop on the second from the last. Um, and J will start one greater than I and we'll bring that to the last one. And then our K variable will go all the way to the very end. So let's just make that K plus one. So it's kind of like a pyramid and then length of nums. So now K goes to the end, J goes to the one before that and I goes to the one before J. And then, so this starts at zero, this will start at one and this will start at two. Okay, so I think that'll work. And we can say nums one, nums save a little space on the lines this time and nums three is going to be equal to nums i nums j and nums k and then if num one plus num two plus num three is equal to 2020 then balance again will be equal to, and let's not mistype that there. Balance is equal to num1 times num2 times num3. And um, if balance is greater than largest, largest, 
equals balance. And then once again, we'll print our largest and run that. And I've made a mistake. What is wrong? Mm -hmm. Line 23, 4K in range K is not defined. What is wrong with that? Oh, and I think I got it right here. This K in the range should be a J. So if we save, so if we save and run again, still an error, what is wrong? Num3 is not defined, and that is because we're gonna get rid of those. And we get a huge number, so I'm just going to copy that in. Submit, and we've got the right answer. So there you have it. There were the solutions for day one of Advent of Code using Python. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below, and I'll see you back tomorrow for day two.